few years ago when Gourmet Magazine closed, I was unemployed for the first time since I was 16 years old. I did what I've always done when I'm confused, lonely, or frightened. I disappeared into the kitchen. These recipes are the story of a year that completely changed my life. This is a recipe from fall and it's one of my favorites. One of the greatest things for me about fall is going to the farmer's market and watching how the fruits and vegetables change. And one of the big changes is that every week there are different apples in the market. It makes what is really the simplest possible recipe really interesting. Okay, let me show you the apples that I've got this week. These are Lodi's and unless you like things very sour, they're probably not the apple you want to eat but I think they're great for pie. This is a Mutsu, which is also called a Crispin. What's great about this particular apple is that it is, as its name says, crisp. So when you cut it up, it keeps its shape in the oven. This is called a Vistabella. It's a, a really delicious apple with real flavor and some sweetness. Each of these apples will cook up differently. That's the magic of this recipe. Now next week I'll probably get Asapa Spitzenbergs and Arkansas Blacks and that will make a completely different kind of a crisp. What I particularly love about this apple crisp is no matter when you make it, it's always just about the most comforting thing you can possibly eat.